for today's video I want to look at the last fixed blade knife in my collection um, so it's only four fixed blades at the moment but I think this one is something a little bit special we're still staying with Swedish knives um, but rather than a Mora this one's the Karisuandu and I hope I pronounce that properly I have no idea what the correct pronunciation should be um, if anybody does uh, I'd be happy to find out so um, as I say this is a bit special because it's it's the uh, highest quality fixed blade I have at the moment um, so let's move on to the desk review and have a closer look okay so this is um, currently the best fixed blade in my collection uh, I've only got the four fixed blades at the moment but hopefully that will change over time and this is the Carisuando Scarp Synth which I believe uh, means sharp minded so as you can see it's a traditional um, pouch type sheath vegetable tanned leather stitch around one edge and drain hole simple belt loop there and the sheath is partially lined with a hard plastic so you don't slice it up and the knife itself is a very traditional Scandi type knife a curly birch handle it's a hidden tang, partial tang so it's a very nice single piece all the way around reindeer antler insert there in front of the brass finger guard Scan the edge, um, three and three quarter inches, three mil thick. But this, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. I'll just see if I can. No, I'm not sure. Um, it's RWL 34 powder steel, and the advantage of that over an ordinary stainless steel is the powder steels have a fine crystal structure, which makes them much less brittle. And so whereas um, a typical knife from this company would be 58-59 Rockwell, the RWL34 is hardened to 60-62. to 62. It's a good heavy knife. The handle geometry is quite slim side to side compared to how deep it is. That does give you a good solid grip combined with the slight taper and the gentle contours feels very good in the hand now I have used this a little bit uh, so it's not a strictly a true factory edge but as you can see I'll just move the sheath even though it's um, a thicker blade than the open L's and the Mora's. It's a lovely little slicer. Hmm. There we go. So, we'll try it on uh, something a bit heavier as well. Um, we've got the cardboard tube that I had to go out in the last video. Um, it's a hard cardboard, three millimeter thick walls. So we'll have a go, see if we can keep this in frame. If it slices, lovely. very impressed with that. So, as I say, this is currently uh, my highest quality fixed blade, the Kelisoandu Scarp Synth, Curly Birch Handle, Reindeer Antler Insert, RWL34 Tool Steel and a lovely mirror polish. And it just sits lovely in the sheath. So that's it for the 
desktop review. Um, we're going to finish with a little slideshow of a few close-ups of the, the knife and the sheath. Uh, so thanks for watching, hope you found that interesting, and uh, we'll see you next time.